Well, Rudy Giuliani is on the hot seat. President Trump's personal lawyer is still making headlines this morning after what he said about Russia's election meddling on the Sunday morning talk shows. Out of this reporter, Trang Dell was live in the CBS3 News Center to break it all down for us. Trang, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. Yes, President Trump is well known for his candor, but now his attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is the one on the focus with his eye raising comments he made over the weekend. Now, in one interview on Sunday, Giuliani went as far to say the president could shoot someone and not be indicted. Rudy Giuliani went on a media blitz Sunday saying President Trump cannot be forced to testify in the Russia investigation. The president's lawyer did leave open the possibility that a voluntary interview may happen under strict guidelines. Look, if they can convince us that it will be brief, it will be to the point, there are five or six points they have to uh, clarify, and with that we can get this over, this long nightmare for the, uh, for the American public over. In an interview with HuffPost, Giuliani claimed, quote, in no case can he be subpoenaed or indicted. He added an extreme hypothetical saying even if the president shot former FBI director James Comey, who he fired, he couldn't be prosecuted until he was out of office. It echoed a claim Mr. Trump made himself from the campaign trail. Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Though Giuliani downplayed the idea that the president has the authority to pardon himself. Pardoning other people is one thing. Pardoning yourself is another. Pardoning himself would just be unthinkable and it would, it would, it would lead to probably an immediate impeachment. The possibility was raised in a memo President Trump's attorneys sent the special counsel in January. Giuliani was not part of the team that drafted the memo, which was made public on Saturday by the New York Times. I think that would be a terrible move. I think people would erupt. That would create outrage uh, on both sides of the political aisle. And Giuliani said that a decision about an interview with special counsel Robert Mueller would not be made until after President Trump's summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. That highly anticipated meeting is scheduled for June 12th in Singapore. But for now, we're live from the News Center. I'm Trang Do, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Trang.